Buenas tardes, con el diatón Magacompoblanos del Ciudad. Bienvenidos con este diatón press conference para el mayo a 11, 2020. Este tarde, hay manjunto kanatun, el diatón City Health Officer, Dr. Dulce Miravite, y también el diatón City Disaster Risk Reduction Management Officer, Dr. Elmer Apolinario. Y ahora, hay wikita el maga updates también before kita ay pregunta kanila uwi kita mga updates des del diatun mga resource persons ay principya kita kun Dr. Dulce Miravite So good afternoon Yesterday we have received 14 positive results processed at the Zamboanga City Medical Center Laboratory using the Gene Expert Gene Expert test bringing the total number of confirmed cases for Zamboanga City to 74 to date, we have a total of 709 COVID-19 suspects and three confirmed COVID-19 mortality. Five of the confirmed cases are admitted at Tambuanga City Medical Center. GC11 has a negative result on her repeat test. So we have a total of 670 specimens sent for testing. Out of these, 432 are with negative results and 116 are with pending results. We have 42 present admission at Adzu Lantaha Isolation Facility. To date, we have a total of 108 COVID-related deaths. 87 are from Zamboanga City and 21 are from outside Zamboanga City. 37 of these deaths are with negative results, 11 pending and 57 not done. For the update on our city reformatory center, uh, we have tested 115 PDL at the mail ward. Out of this 115, 46 are with positive results. Uh, one death and one admission at Zamboanga City Medical Center. On the female ward, at the female ward, we have tested 26 and two are confirmed positive, one uh, mortality. So for the personnel, we have tested 43 personnel in the male ward and uh, with nine confirmed positive cases. And the female ward, we have tested 17 with no uh, confirmed cases. That's all. Thank you, Dr. Dulce. We shall now listen to the opening remarks of our City Disaster and Risk Reduction Management Officer, Dr. Elmer Apolinario. Buenos dias, uh, Pueblo Sampanga. We have received a letter from the Chief Inspector, uh, Jail Warden Daniel Alhas, last May 6, informing us that there are 234 uh, PDS about to be released from their uh, city reformers or the center. And for which, after a series of meetings we had had with the health officials and other officers concerned, the city mayor issued an executive order number 565 dated last May 8, 2020. And which is why yesterday, May 10, we had started uh, providing or facilitating the release of 60 PDLs and which are now quarantined because the requirement uh, as stipulated in the executive order requires that they should be on a 14-day quarantine. Uh, these 60 uh, PDLs had been tested and been swapped but we still have to await the results from the concern agency. And scheduled uh, also, uh, the others are to be released pending the requirements uh, to be submitted also by the uh, concerned individuals. Our office is in constant uh, communication with the city jail warden and also in coordination with the city health office. Any efforts done in addressing the PDL concern are course to these offices, the city health and of course our city, city disaster office. Dr. Elmer, in relation to that uh, statement of yours, El Diatun Transfer, Del Maga 60 persons deprived of liberty, can you please tell the public what is their general health condition? Well, uh, they've been tested, uh, already tested uh, before they were released. Uh, I'd like to uh, correct uh, the previous information that we provided that uh, the 60 individuals now housed in one of the quarantine area in the city. Uh, we we'll have to get yet the results from the city health office, but we are monitoring them. In fact, our mayor has assigned a specific doctors to, to see of their well-being in that area. And we've also provided some security measures so that uh, everything will be in place regarding the security, the safety, and of course, the well-being of our 
uh, one of the guests. Dr. Elmer, another question. How many more persons deprived of liberty are we expecting to be transferred to another quarantine facility? Uh, well, uh, for the report of our city jail warden, 43 are yet to be released uh, we, and we have to undergo swab testing, which I believe they already did. And of course, uh, there are uh, 92. Uh, per my conversation with uh, with jail warden Alhas yesterday, these 92, uh, which required documents to be submitted, had already complied. So I mean to say, in the coming days, they will also have to be released. Thank you, Doc Elmer. Chani kita pregunta, Dr. Elmer, pwede ba daw LCT di ato, no? LCT government man provide housing facility for over 20 BJMP personnel who are on duty outside the jail. Por causa daw kung lockdown, este mga personajes del BJMP, hindi gane pwede entra na dila quarters. I por causa kung este, por sao sila bolbe na diila maga familia. Donde gane ta chene el posibilidad de apekta el di la salud. So, kosa el plano de este, del di atong siyudad kon este, sir? Si, amo gane siya, no? At yun si instruction na natin yung gane, el task force COVID chair. And in fact, uh, we already prepared the letter uh, to be brought out uh, today. Uh, we've identified an area where they can be quarantined, where they can be housed temporarily. Eh, tabla kita sa na, na linggo del di la na BJMP, team labas tabla sila sa. So, these are the person of BJMP uh, that do not go inside the complex, but stays outside and, and monitors the security concerns of the complex. So, tiene sila sa numero, so they're still required to go to or report for work. So, we decided uh, upon consultation with the jail warden to have them house or quarantine in an area where they can go back uh, from their work and then kedalya and then pido le trabajo. So, tiene kami, in fact, uh, we, we have prepared a letter that will be addressed to the barangay chair. We all, already have all the requirements uh process and we hope to have them already quarantined or uh, sheltered in this uh, facility possibly by tomorrow or the late by wednesday el mga akel mga bjmp personnel sir talya adentro akel na team loob chene tamen sila quarantine facility si si chene sila uh, in fact uh, we are monitoring them no uh, they are also in constant coordination with our city health officer so, tatendi kita nila to. Dula, mga nila pa requirements. Daily requirements, we address that. Uh, in fact, uh, based on the information given to our virus city jail warden, they are in high spirits. Tatendi mga mga mente kanila. No? Say, of course, kosa din sita, we provide uh, din na mga kosa requirements. No? Uh, of course, uh, the health, health, health aspect uh, is being monitored by our city health officer together with our staff. So, she is also in very constant daily communication with our person inside ayun, na, na facility. El concern na di ila, Dr. Elmer, akel mga personajes del BJMP talya adentro kay hindi positibo. So tapili sila si pwede daw gane atende kanila para chene tame sila donde kanila man quarantine. Mientras hindi gane sila positibo, sir. Isi, amo man siya, yung dalas sa mga informasyon ka na ila, kanamon, tabi no, tabi na kita kaya kaya manera kung nasa kita address, no? Kaya nang wing ni sabi bang kita, talya sila adentro, sila wanta provide security. But just the same, uh, initially we have already addressed the team labas tabla kita. So possibly in the coming days, I will be sitting there with task force COVID. Maybe this after we can press this out in the meeting. We can also address kosa kita kobila as kono tabla kita task force uh, at the end of the team la team lob. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dr. Elmer, uh, Tio Diverkisa asked about the 60 uh, PDLs released and uh, quarantined in a private facility. Eh, pregunta gan nila si Yan Suabia. So, Yan Suabia kun este no, Dr. Elmer, no ay pa lang ang resulta. Yes, and I stand corrected kay because uh, earlier uh, uh, because of the lack of sleep that we have had the past few days, uh, tamali-mali lang kita, pero I asked our PIO to correct the information I gave about earlier this morning kay negative said so, no, it is it's still under a blabla kita el salita pa no. Ah, uh, in fact, si Dr. Ratuso is following that up with the concerned agency para po sa kalres of the But nonetheless, we have instituted measures uh, on the quarantine facility para abla kalang kita pang konti na mga mente kung mga, mga guests alia. And of course, we're monitoring. That's why we have assigned physicians uh, to monitor the health status alia dentro. Okay, thank you, Dr. Elmer. Uh, Chenicky question, no, Dr. Elmer, although this is uh, 
Question from uh, Miss RG Go. Uh, update na EcoZone COVID-19 facility. Quanto percent ya complete? I quando abre? Well, I'll, I'll update all yan na EcoZone facility. No, uh, we met yesterday with our city engineer, and we're happy na talaga na tapos na 54 engineer kaya kita yun dakana. Tuna yan, no. Hopefully, uh, kaya era kami kaya usa era by today. Kaya mo kaya si si sa lahat ng biyernes kaya po era usa pero uh, yung explica niya tuna engineero kaya si po de era limpia sila ese día hasta mañana en de tablale baka miércoles puede llegar usa kita so uh, si acaba kasi ese día sila limpieza un día uh, hopefully we will have some some number personal yung mga 68 that can be brought there by Wednesday ang mga promesa di di uh, engineer Navarro uh, which we also took cognizance of Okay, Dr. Elmer, there's a question from Roland Ramos. May we know how many sweeping transients estaba dipolog el tan quarantine na un hotel along Mayor Haldon Canelar? I on desto sila? Sweeping transients? Si, sweeping transients, Doctor. Uh, I have no, ano, I have to check on that. No? Kaya yung sabi yo, oh, akil kanya liga di ato, akil akil from out of town, akil mga OFW, al uh, el once alya uh, sa mga ngayos are uh, talaga guest talaga na akil Harmony Village. Uh, all the rest from other regions have been brought home already. So, ang mula kasi sabi information okay. about SR transit na pasaki. But other than that, may pa yung information. But I have to check on that. So, Dr. Elmer, there's a question supposedly addressed for the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. But uh, since ito man el jefe del Secretariat del Diaton Interagency Task Force, baka pwede to stay contesta. Pwede ba dali prioridad kung ang mga positive COVID patient, patients, ita, mga PDLs or BJMP personnel, man pull out ya po ne na mag-apwera dahil di atun city jail para hindi man bira-bira el virus? Uh, may, maybe we can ask Dr. Dulce uh, who has been handling that issue gonna to answer for us. Okay. So thank you very much, uh, Dr. Elmer. We have to excuse our city disaster officer because he will be joining the interagency task force meeting. So, Doc Dulce, in relation to that question, uh, there's a question from Cecil Abuy, Tablaganele. Instead, man pull out kunakel mga persons of deprived of liberty, kechenia release order, si pwede man pull out anay ko na kelios mga BJMP personnel i mga PDLs ke confirm positive para hindi yaman kalayat el virus. Yes, Sir Cecil, we are looking at this uh, concern and um, hopefully by uh, today or tomorrow, pwede kita kani naman pull out, no? El di atun eco zone will be ready on Wednesday. So pero tamiragan kita el mga lugar on di kita kanila pon pone anay uh, para we will be able to pull them out na di atun uh, city reformatory center. Okay, uh, Doc uh, from Julie Alipala, may we request the breakdown of suspected COVID cases, suspected COVID cases and the numbers or uh, the number of suspects tested. Where were they done? And the breakdown of deaths in barangays. Okay, so um, to date, we have a total of 709 COVID suspects. So out of these, we have 670 specimen tested. So 432 are with negative results and 166 are with pending results. Uh, the data for the mortality will be given in a while, ma'am, to Ma'am Sheila to be posted also. So you will have the data for the breakdown of our mortality. We have a total of 108 mortalities and the barangays and um, El Cuanto Bilogane on the on the mga barangay will be given to you. Okay, so the next question, Doc, is... Can you provide data on the number of persons deprived of liberty and the jail personnel who underwent tests and how many have been tested positive? Does this 14 additional cases uh, in the city jail post an alarm to the number of COVID cases? This is from Roel Pareño. Yes, yeah, so for the personnel, we have tested 43 in a male ward or in a male dormitory. And out of the 43, we have nine positive. One is admitted at CCMC, 
well, the rest are isolated at PJMP, but we are looking for an isolation place for them already. In the female ward, uh, we have tested 17 and none of the female personnel came out to be positive. For the PDLs, we have tested 115 na male ward the atun and 46 are positive. One death, one admitted at CCMC. The rest are isolated at the CRC. And na female ward the atun, we have 26. 26 tested and then two positive results and one death. I'm not going to break down the Atun testing so far. Okay, uh, Doc from Albert Luna, ready about isolation facility na Echo Zone? Well, I think this was answered earlier by Dr. Apolinario. Donde gane tabla le kay ongoing paste. El pregunta siguro, Doc Contigo, is kien ba el expected man occupy kun este di Atun isolation facility? So, um, tamira taman kita el pakilay kita man di congest kon el di atun CRC. So, possible po ni kita aki kon el di atun mga, mga PDLs. And other patients, because we will be using four units, so we will cohort. Uh, so, patients as a step-down facility na ecozone, we can use that also. Meaning, STL mga patient who have already tested negative from the hospital, who are just awaiting uh, LDE la quarantine period. So, pwede kita po nina na koneste mga units di ato na eco zone. Okay, Doc. Question from Tio Diver Arquisa. Pwede PDL demographics del size BJMP personnel kaya man positive? Doon deste sila takeda i no ay bagayot stos bolbe na di la mga kasa iman junto kon el familia. So far, LS di ato in uh, mga nuevo ya keda positive are from the team loob. Akal tabla sila ganit na BJMP dila team loob. So they have been inside. So yung masyeste sila sali. Um, sure, Chodiver, I will give the barangays later. No? Um, pero team loob sa sila. No yung masyeste sila. Bolbe na kasa since and lockdown L, L jail ganit. So, Doctora, in relation to that question of Tio Diver, kere this year este maga nuevo confirmal caso de uh, COVID cases, tali sa sila todo adentro na city jail? They are isolated in the area na facility. Okay. So, there's a question, Doc, from, uh, from RG Go. Why is mass testing taking long? We are not yet doing mass testing because we are preparing for our facility for testing. If we are going to swab and swab and get the specimen, but we have not, uh, we are not yet ready with our facility. So, keda tamen kita mucho backlog. But uh, we are happy because for five days already, uh, El Diaton Gene Expert Machine and CCMC tan work ya tapo deleman test about 60 or more per day, no? So. Uh, hopefully this week or next week, uh, the FD, uh, the, the DA laboratory will also be functional and can uh, do 90, 90 tests amen, or more per day. So once established agat study atun mga testing facility, then we will be able to do uh, our mass testing. And um, our test kits also, we are preparing for our test kits to be used once we are going to do the mass testing. Okay, Doc. From uh, UNTV, sa buong Pilipinas, pang ilan po ang Zamboanga City, Zamboanga City Jail sa may pinakamataas na COVID case? So far, ang case natin is nandyan lang sa 60. No? Um, yung ibang, ibang mga jail in the Philippines, they have already 300-400 cases. So I don't think we are on, on the top list des the mga jails. Uh, Doc, there's a question from Queenie Casimiro. Is the city receptive to the local COVID projection presented by a group of mathematical epidemiologists or are we solely relying on the presentation of the local RESU? Apparently, this group is alarmed over the projections presented by Dr. Jalani as her COVID projection for Zambo at peak is 44,484. Theirs is 5,552. Yes, yeah, so, um, 
pwede kita miras tayong mga projections as uh, El Otro kasi BN Alto is a uh, worst case scenario projections. But really, uh, we really have to have LG Atun uh, data na di Atun testing para pwede kita kasi more or less um, factual or imbunamente no sure ka na ano mga projections. But these are guides that we can use. So on a worst case scenario, ang sina de mucho uh, keda infected, ang sina de mucho uh, nesita man hospitalized. So worst case scenario meaning we do not have any uh, measures in place uh, containment is not really effective so amokel el puede pasa but um once we have more testing and results uh, we will be able to reconcile el de aton mga projections okay we will go back to dr dulce in a while after we get some more questions we will just answer some of the other queries from RG Gold na otro mga lugar, chene ya mga barangay officials kun kien ya investiga. Aki chene si mayor kun kien taman chene ba si mayor kun kien taman investigate. So sabe ustedes chene kita mga datos no acerca el mga reklamo ke tiene el diaton mga vivientes kontra kon el los demás mga officials del barangay. Mayor parte del diaton mga officials aki na ciudad ta ayuda gayot mucho no con el diaton city government para darle el servicio con el mga constituentes pero siempre tiene también mga sitwasyon donde gane hindi gayot ta puede responde y todo con este ta mira kita aura y necesita kita sabe si necesita ba kita planta mga kaso aura el question también no acerca el uh, diaton winning supplier from Julie Alipala who is the winning supplier of the city government of Sambuanga for this poor quality of rice, we need the identity of the supplier. How much is price for each 25 kilos of sack? Where is the location? Now, uh, this rice, uh, which has been delivered to the city government of Sambuanga, hindi se todo uh, poor quality. It must be noted that there are only uh, several sacks of rice which can be characterized as of poor quality. In fact, uh, so far, according to the City Social Welfare and Development Office, chene lang un barangay donde gana ya reklama kun ese. I este aliana barangay sinunuk. So, kem ba el uh, supplier deste? It's a uh, 5MJ uh, Enterprises, amo sa el uh, supplier. I chene sa sila el di la requisite uh, permits. El presyo deste saco, el un saco is chene el cantidad de 1,300 pesos. I don del di la opisina, el di la opisina, tali na barangay kanilar. El di la a question di aton is what sanctions will be meted against this scrupulous supplier, no? Unscrupulous supplier siguro to tanmin. So este gan el di aton supplier, ta check ya si ara no si kosa gat el, pwede kanila a... Uh, uh, pidino or man correct el diila mga aktuasyon pero ya sabi gani kita kun el diaton internal auditor aki na diaton syudad ke este mga aros kaya kompra el gobyerno lokal no hay pa se paga no hay pa se paga chene se warranty period for replacement kere disir under na diaton uh, lay acerca el mga comprada de mga goods or mga equipo Chene kita periodo donde puede man demand cambia con el mga cosa yan deliver. Cosa el mga base para puede kita cambia. Si hindi bueno el calidad. Como cosa ya sucede este mga tiempo. Chene aros yan deliver ka natun hindi bueno el calidad. Puede kita se pidi replacement. So ahora el cosa ya sucede gane ki como ya habla ka natun el diatun na personajes del internal audit y también el mga inspector diatun. Cuando ya lega el arroz na di ato na facilidad, uh, talia ya se abajo ya man unload ya. I talia se abajo, insima ko na ese amol mga buen kalidad de arroz kaya man deliver tamen kita na di ato mga barangay. Ara ko sa kita ase para preveni ko este, no hay pa el delivery no, ahead of time el di ato mga inspector estaba con el city accountant's office, general services office y también el internal audit office talyaya sila na lugar i hindi man unload ko na sa mga sako de arroz unless ya check ya sa sila por eso by batch amo sa LD Atun uh, manera para prevenir kita que sucede este delivery de mga hindi buen klase de arroz 
Question number 3 from Julie Alipala out of uh, 1.6 billion how much has been sent, spent for rice? So kere kita abla no na supplemental budget number 1 el valor del sen que ya poni kita para na comprada hindi lang de arroz sino pati de maga de lata y otro pa maga comestibles que parte del diaton family food packs talina 200 million pesos y uh, na diaton supplemental budget number 2 talise na 263 million 816,273 pesos. How many families were we able to feed? We are targeting 250,000 families. So, okay, we now have our BJMP joining us in our Zoom conference. Yes. Uh, yung statement po natin sa nakahantay lang tayo to. Yung tatlong pinagdala lang ni Sir, nandito na sila sa uh, ang advice ni Doc na pwede na silang mag-duty, hindi na kailangan nila sa fit test kasi Hello. na quarantine na. So, mamaya doon ipapasok natin yung J01. Hello. Hindi ka guys. Dato lang no, alaglaring kita. Hindi ka guys. Hindi ka guys. Hindi ka guys. Hindi ka guys. Okay, so uh, BJMP is now ready. Sir, there's a question for BJMP. Cosa el status del seis personajes que ya sale nuevo confirmado positivo? Okay, so uh, I think we cannot connect yet with uh, BJMP. So we shall now have uh, the closing statement of our city health officer, Dr. Dulce Miravite. Uh, before that, Dr. Dulce, are you still with us? Dr. Dulce? Yes, so uh, we are still asking everyone to uh, please stay home. Um, in the coming days, uh, we will be having more testing so that we will really have uh, more um, information about the spread of the Aton disease. But we remind everyone to please uh, stay home as much as possible. If you go out of the house, uh, just do the essential things that you really have to do. And uh, please uh, practice Elbiaton physical or social distancing. Always wear your mask. Uh, always practice Elbiaton hand hygiene. So, si pwede labamano, si hindi pwede labamano, ali ba kita di aton mga sanitizers? And let us all keep safe. Thank you very much, Dr. Dulce. We would like to thank our resource persons for this afternoon's press conference, our City Health Officer, Dr. Dulce Miravite, and our City Disaster Risk Reduction Management Officer, Dr. Elmer Apolinario. Kere kita informa ko ng diaton magakompoblanos, el diaton alcalde, ben klima ko, taase todo el esfuerzo para dalel con todo bueno clase de servicio con el diaton magakonstituentes. Este magatiempo, mucho gente que tanto toma ventaja, ta hace líos, ta hace calaya at mga informasyon que no hay por kita pwede man verify. Por eso ta apela kami con ustedes, no makita kredayo na mga storia que ta pone malisya con el mga actuasyon del diatun gobierno local. Si chene man ko saya palta na diatun na distribusyon del arroz, si chene mga hindi bueno kalidad de mga comestibles que distribuhi, todo este ya kabaya saka el diatun mga personajes y ya cambia con este de buen clase de arroz. Por eso, ta, otra vez, tapikura kami, uh, habla con ustedes, ta hace kami todo el esfuerzo y tapidi kami el de ustedes cooperación y suporta para más de pronto hacer kita con este caba el diatun crisis. Buenas tardes y muchas gracias a todos. Música